Good morning, folks. We've got notes from across the world and into deep space. In the ending sequence, wind maps are going to see strong lows set to make severe weather in both Europe and the New Madrid zone of the U.S. tonight. But we are starting with spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star work calm once again. Still no sunspots, but the coronal hole situation is taking over our visibility with the next one dominating the left side. Solar wind is relatively calm, but a small density wave overnight took the KP up off the floor after we'd spent 12 hours at KP0, dash that cosmic ray alert for now. The solar wind from the departing stream is less than one day from arriving at Earth. We're transitioning early this week to magnetically connecting at the incoming hole. Seismicity continues its magnitude 6 production, Blood echo beneath the Philippines, but much deeper than the low velocity zone. Try the transition zone at the mantle. Amazing power to move rock that far down. In the cool sites category, these are the one Fernandez Islands reaching high enough to disrupt the low level water vapor into these incredible rippling features. Go 16 to thank for this one. Just a few days late, really, on this release from Hubble. Something tells me they really want to have released this deep space capture on October 31st. Props on creepiness, actually. Let's go to supernova. Just when we think we know all the different kinds and patterns, one always seems to come along and disrupt the waters. In this case, it's a super bright nova that came alive much faster than expected with enduring low energy emission. And despite the hit to astronomers' egos on the behavior, it still drives hard on neutron stars and black holes. Independent minds will remember the merit of observations over conclusions. Let's go bigger. Galactic scale cosmology. Perhaps you recall our universe episode with Dr. Biswas and his demonstration that hyperbolic orbits of some stars would explain the rotation of galaxies without dark matter. Today, we report his latest release, available only from his university page. Apparently, no need for dark matter or dark energy, and it explains not only the rotation, but the formation of the arms. This has got to be one of the coolest little known professors in the country. Folks, yesterday, our podcast unusual topic was this Nature article, one of the worst they've ever written. For those who are website members, it's the latest post under the premium section called Fly on the Wall. And it is also time for giveaway season to begin. Everyone who has registered for Observing the Frontier by the 19th this month is entered to win their entire hotel stay for free. Thursday night through Sunday night. Again, everyone registered by the 19th gets a chance to win. So if you're coming and you know it, it's time to act. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.